Now the question is, is to have had and lost better than not having at all? So look, um, here to talk about this certain culture vulture who has um, been presented with the opportunity to, you know, vulture, of course. And the person we're talking about is Adam22, a.k.a. Agent 47 from Hitman. Um, from No Jumper, actually. You know what I'm saying? With the Gucci slogan, I'm balling like an athlete, but got no jumpers. Win all year because the birds fly yonder. 95 Air Max, because I'm a dope runner. From the Brick song, you feel me? From Gucci from 2009. With Nicki Minaj in the video. But, um... Nah, man, dudes like him, bro, nigga had pointed me to something in the in my comment section about, you know, go to Twitter and look at this Adam22 shit. So I go to Twitter, look up Adam22, and I see these pedo allegations in which he, you know, not even allegations because he admitted to committing the act when the girl was 16, you feel me? Some um groupie of his No Jumper podcast. And... Who happens to be a porn star now at 19 years old. So, it's not surprising to me. And to see these things come to fruition, this was about a couple hours ago. And this happens after I had said in my video about dude that academics talking to the 17-year-old was weird. You know what I'm saying? That's some pedo shit. You feel me? Talking about her sex life, you feel me? And the rapper she smashed and all that. A 17-year-old white IG model. Now, why does that even exist? You feel me? Why does that even exist? Where the fuck the parents at? But that's what I'm going to get to later. So, his whole situation with that. And him being cool with Takesha. You feel me? Him being cool with Takesha69 who pled guilty. You look, look, I can't even get emotional about this shit because y'all was raised fatherless. Y'all niggas was raised... Without a big brother, without big cousins to smack the shit out you niggas for bumping some rainbow color hair ass nigga. You feel me? My little cousins ain't doing it. Making sure of it. Made sure of it. Made sure my little brothers, you know what I'm saying? It's being passed down the line, bro. We raising no busters, nigga. But, hey, you know what I'm saying? That's y'all. That's how y'all got down. And that's why this shit is like this right now. Because I understood this, man. I'm getting kind of off point. But what I realize is that with my baby brother. That nigga love the hell out of me, my baby brother. But um, what I realize is that the nigga daddy don't give a fuck about him. What I always knew was that just seeing him, I was 16, 17 being around him. And doing all type of stuff that I wasn't even supposed to be doing for him. You feel me? Like, it's supposed to be his father's job. I'm doing this shit. Helping him with his homework and shit like that. But what I realized is that parents, when you got kids, they don't even give a fuck about homework. Like, they let a kid just sit in the corner with the with the homework and he just sitting there mad. Got a headache with a pencil in his hand. You feel me? That's why kids don't even do their homework. Because their parents don't even want to take the time out to help them with it. You know what I'm saying? All type of shit, bro, I could mention on here, man. But, you know, niggas, you know what I'm saying? Some level of guidance, you feel me? Some level of guidance, of instruction. Because people have kids and just throw them to the wolves, man. Throw them to the fucking wolves. But I wanted to say this, man. Adam22 with that shit. When I seen the interview of him talking to Daniel Berzoli, bro, I watched four minutes of it. Read the comment section. They said this nigga asking her questions about her sex life. Bro, this is a 14-year-old and this man in his mid-30s. White dude, you feel me? Straight up culture vulture. Then when I looked up dude's name on Twitter, I seen a comment from some white girl saying that every time I watch Adam 22's No Jumper podcast and listen to the guests, I have to go to the Urban Dictionary and look up words to see what they're saying. Really? So you know what that tells me, man? A majority of his guests are, you know what I'm saying, black dudes, you feel me? Black rappers and shit like that. Weirdo black rappers. And the fact that white girls are saying, she had a bunch of likes too. It wasn't just like no, you know what I'm saying, just random comment. She had a bunch of likes and retweets. 
So, and then she had responses as well. Like, I know, right? So, he's being used. And he also just signed something with Atlantic Records. Of course, Atlantic Records. Daniel Brazzoli, Jordan Lucas, a bunch of other individuals I can mention. Atlantic fucking Records. Cardi B, you feel me? Oh, they pushing for they pushing for the whitewashing of hip hop. Best believe that. And what that tells me with what I just told you about the white girl tweet about, you know what I'm saying, looking up the urban dictionary. Man, look, man. They stealing sauce, man, stealing swag, stealing style, stealing flavor. However, stealing funk, nigga, nineteen sixties, nineteen seventies word, bro. They stealing every fucking thing, bro. To be cool is to be black. In their eyes. That's <laughs> just how it is, man. Motherfuckers trying to steal what we got, bro. That's what it's all about. And you see how, you know what I'm saying, these individuals. Like, you see Charlemagne, right? You see how he tried to bring in Andrew Schultz, right? But yet, the quote-unquote culture pushed him back. Like, nah. Charlemagne, you cool? Nah. But nah, nah, he gotta go. You see, academics is trying to pull in Adam 22, no jumper. You see that, right? And I consider, you know, Charlemagne a, a puppet anyways. I've been saying this for years. Been saying this for years. Niggas don't listen. He still has support from the liberal black community. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Y'all puppets, bro. Y'all puppets. Niggas is suckers, bro. Really, 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 for real. I really, really want to go off, man. But, you know, I'm going to make this video short. So, y'all give me y'all comments on this situation. These these the niggas, they co-signing, though. You feel me? Niggas ain't saying nothing, though. It's like every time I do a video saying something, bro. And what's crazy is that the last three videos I've made, I did these videos to piss y'all off. My DJ Academics video, I did that to piss off. See, look. I sent somebody to shout out for saying that I'm doing this to get DJ Academic to get a shout out from D Nigga fuck DJ Academics. I don't need no shout out from that nigga. This is the first time I put that nigga um name in my title in about four, five months, bro. And that's facts. I ain't mentioned a video with that nigga since college kid, bro. Niggas is re uploading the videos where I talked about that nigga. That's from five months ago. You know what I'm saying? It's not about that, it's about addressing the whole situation. With Domus Live and DJ Hamster Demis, you feel me? Niggas is weirdos, bro. But then I did the video about LeBron. I got a bunch of dislikes on that DJ Hamster Demis video from a lot of you chat niggas, you feel me? But it still remains, bro. It still remains. It's the same fucking thing as last year. Same thing, man. And now I'm doing it on Adam 22, Culture Vulture Ass. Y'all just letting these niggas slide, though, man. You know what I'm saying? These rappers, ain't nobody saying shit. They gonna wait till it's too late. They don't see the moves being made in front of them. This nigga just signed a deal. Got no jumper records, bro. Just dropped a song with Tay K and Block Boy JB. How the hell Block Boy JB doing shit with this weird ass nigga? Oh, yeah. Drake. Oh, yeah, that shit. Oh, of course. Oh, Tay K. How this nigga dropping songs and he locked up? Oh, okay, yeah. I ain't even heard the song. It's called Hard. But, you know, I don't I don't want to listen to the, the looted version. I'd rather listen to Love Folk, you know what I'm saying, the creator of that flow. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, yeah, keep hyping that nigga up. I want to see if Atlantic going to pull a move for him. Because if they dropping a song with Tay-K from No Jumper Records and that's clicked up with Atlantic, y'all know Atlantic is known for getting niggas out of jams and shit. We'll see what happens. I don't think so. But, hey. Yeah, man, y'all give me y'all comments, likes, dislikes. It don't matter. Peace.